Here's a shot using Lockdown, where we have motion blur on the Lockdown layer. To simplify this comp, I have just the background and one element from the Lockdown layer with no shading on it, no blending, to make this easier to see. All you have to do is go to Effect, Time, CC Force Motion Blur, turn off Override Shutter Angle, and then enable Motion Blur on the layer and on the composition. You can see that Lockdown now has motion blur on it and respects the built-in shutter angle and shutter phase. Remember, the shutter phase should always be negative one half of the shutter angle. So if it's 180 degrees, the shutter phase should be negative 90. Please keep in mind that the more samples you have, the slower this is going to process. The way that CC Force motion blur works is it takes eight samples between frames and blends them together. We can set this down to four samples. Actually, it still looks pretty good. Two. And you can see what's happening. In the future, we may try to build in our own accelerated motion blur, but please use this effect for now.